a world within. I just beat the craziest thing. A year-long battle with myself to order everything that I decided I needed for collection one. And uh, I just finished ordering it and it's absolutely insane because it's really not that complex it's really not that hard to get the art together and have it ready to go out like you make a piece and then you make another piece and then you make another piece and then it's like yo this is starting to be something i could almost start to form a collection around this and then you just keep creating and slowly it forms into something that it's like yeah i can do something with this but uh that's the easy part letting your imagination run free and letting ideas come into play that's not that hard to do i find that i can actually accomplish that but ordering stuff like fine tuning getting adjustments getting sizing quantities working with numbers and like picky details that's been a year-long battle so since I started ordering collection one. And if you go battle since I started designing, trying to get a collection out, that's like five years. And I'm not like happy to say that number, but I'm also not gonna let that number slow me down. Yeah shit was slow i'm not quick with quantities i'm not quick with dimensions i'm not quick with websites and like because i, I want to do the best i want to make quality stuff i don't want to just like half-ass it like it's not quick money that's not how i see art art's more like it's something you have to do it's like this world within you that you want to bring forward you want to bring forth and uh i'm working towards that and i think i'm there i'm there for collection one so specifically this battle today was against packaging like a bag and uh I couldn't bring myself to order it. I put it up on my to-do list like three months ago, but now I can check it off. And it was just one step. And there's been other steps I've battled with. I fought, fought with it every step of the way. Cause I mean, you have, you have a life outside of creating. You're not always doing one thing. So to force yourself to sit in that chair and like hit order or to finish working on something, some parts are easy and some parts are so not easy. So yeah, I've fought with a freaking with packaging. That was the battle and I, I did it. Packaging's order, it's on the way. So that's the last thing. Shipments can like go out now, as soon as it arrives. Here's, here's kind of the details that I, I get hung up on and I don't need to get hung up on them, but I do. So this is like packaging and I had this stuff. I had this packaging for about two months, but it was the wrong size. It would fit my t-shirt designs, but it wouldn't fit my hoodies. And so I got stalled up and I was like, oh, I just have to order a new size. But it was like the next step was just impossible. Like it felt impossible to put in the quantity and find a new size and find this. and. I'm being dramatic, I know that, but like that's how it, it can feel when it's just small details. And I just wanna I just wanna put this out there because personal experience seems to be that most people deal with small details can throw you off. You're you're like, you got the big picture in mind, but the small details, that shit can like slow you down. Whether it be like, oh you can you can do four years of university, but like to pass this one fucking test, no, I have to study all night. How can I bring myself to study this chapter or study a little bit here and a little bit there? It's like little things are so easy to get caught up on. And I'm great at big picture stuff. I'm great at dreaming big, but I suck at the little picture stuff. And that's what this video is about is just beating it. And I beat packaging. I beat packaging. And that's what this says right here. April 30th, it's gonna arrive. And then I know I beat that fucking resistance. I beat that packaging to win. And each detail that slows you down, you don't have to let it stop you. You can just beat each detail one step at a time. Here's some of the designs for collection one. These are all screen printed, so it's like, you could like trip and fall and scrape it if you're skating or doing something physical and it wouldn't fall off. Like it's it's not vinyl, it's completely screen printed on, it's full quality. And then I got tags made up as well. So I got those sewed on. So they're like professional, like all the way. And they're, t they're tiny little details. But I, I love that kind of stuff. I love little details. I love working on something all the way through, knowing that everything that I imagined, I was able to like beat it 
and and get it there get the get the detail in there to know that when i sent it off into the world i did like the best i could so i'm i don't know if you guys like this seeing stuff this close up but uh but i figured i just i'd just show it and see what see what you guys thought of it see what you guys thought of talking through the details and like getting to know the collection a little up close if you just want to like know how my creative process goes i'd love to have kind of a window into that on the way to the final project so there's these designs and then i'd mentioned before i got like posters i only have one at my place right now but my other ones are in stock at my friend's house so this is like kind of the start and with it being the start i figured i'd do a walkthrough so thanks for checking in and seeing what i'm up to i got another piece on the way you guys are probably around for this one but i'm working on this one here and it's challenging me a lot but uh i wanna i wanna show the process of it i'm not done yet but like the ideas there and so i'm working through it and if you guys want to feel free to check out my other videos and, uh yeah beat the resistance